Hi, this is a quick overview of our chatbot and some of its features and functions. You can create your chatbot here. You can find it here if it's not active, and if it is active, you just click here. This video will highlight the features and functions of each of these tabs. We have other videos that discuss the features and functions of each tab in more depth. The first one is the questions. The default question comes up and is the first thing the user sees when you're engaging with them. You can have multiple questions and buttons and actions. Down below, you can add more intents. The second are global intents. Global intents are always listening and appear into the conversation when the user types and asks for something. You can create your global intents here. They can also be linked to questions. The assistant is a quick way to put FAQ type responses. You can see some of these are built in already when you started creating your first chatbot. The lead forums and surveys allow you to easily create different types of forms, lead forms, support forms, as well as surveys. E-commerce connects to your e-commerce system. So depending if you have Magento, BigCommerce, WooCommerce, uh, Shopify, and many others, uh, will connect to your database and allows you to pull in all the SKUs, the images, the product names, titles, pricing, so the AI knows what product to show at the right time. Settings allow you to create the custom colors you want, the dimensions of the windows for mobile and desktop. Variables allow you to put in different pieces of text, such as a phone number, email address, a website domain that you're using in multiple places. That way you can change it easily in one place. Triggers and events trigger the bot at certain times. It's different for mobile and desktop. For example, you can have the bot come up full on, a, on desktop and just be a ball on mobile. Alerts send emails of all the form data and survey data. You can also use Zapier to connect to your different type of CRM such as Zendesk. Reporting has many different types of reports. Fallback reports, page engagement reports, user response reports, survey summaries, and survey and lead response, individual response reports. The reports allow you to gain insights as to what people are asking, where they're getting stuck, what buttons are often being clicked, what pages people get stuck and want to engage the bot on, and what kind of questions they're asking on those pages, along with the regular survey and certain form data. 